One of the pillars of the 3D skier matrix that make up a robust athletic skier is joint movement and moving in three dimensions. Now what I mean about three dimensions is the three planes of movement. So we have here a side, a side view which is a sagittal plane which is forward, back and up and down and then a frontal plane of movement which is looking at me from the front which is more lateral type movements and then we have a transverse plane which is looking at me as if you were looking from above so that's anything rotating and what we try to do in this matrix is actually have a good balance of exercises and check-ins that have pushing and pulling and rotation side side forward and back and sometimes the problem is is if you're focused too much just on up and down or forward and back and you don't add in these other planes of movement when you train then the brain doesn't get a chance to experience this movement and therefore the muscles don't get a chance to experience this movement and having a program that is well balanced with these three different planes of movement and allowing you to train with those three planes will help you to be more fluid, have better strength and mobility as we move in skiing and in general. Center is another key point that we will visit in this program. And essentially it's how well are we centered and how well do we move away from center and then back to center. If for example, we're not that well balanced and centered, we may find it hard to actually come back to center. We may favor one side. And what we try to look at is the mass management. So as we move, our joints move and then the muscles have to react. Some of them lengthen, some of them shorten. In an ideal center position, let's say if you're standing, all muscles are resting efficiently in, in a neutral state. When we then move, like I said, some muscles will lengthen, some mus muscles will shorten. But if we're already off center in a standing position, it means that some muscles that are already longer when they shouldn't be might have a problem shortening and some muscles that are already shorter might have a problem lengthening and our idea is to give you a better idea of how your own body moves and where it might be off center where the joints might be rotated or shifted to one side where you might have a different foot pressure where you have a lack of mobility when you move in in one area for example and all of this will hopefully give us a better experience of how our body works and moves together so ultimately we've got more fluid strength and mobility as we move and ski.